Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me these a JPEG of their file. They can't see these hidden lines in Corel, and I cannot see them either. Uh, even looking at them in wireframe, they're not there. But whatever laser software they use, they're there. So, and also in this, there are some funny corners. Really, it's not too bad. The laser is going to go here, cut there, go there. But you're going to have this little triangle that's going to be cut out. And I don't see the reason for it, whoever drew it. Maybe there's a reason. But we're going to get rid of those, and that's really easy. But what we're going to do, this is all grouped together. We're going to go Control-G and break it apart. We need to get rid of that living hinge. So to get rid of that living hinge, if I, if I move this, I'm going to move away part of my box. And I don't want that. So if I hold down the Alt key and touch all the lines, but do not touch the box, I nudged it down really too far, but that's fine. Holding down the Alt key, just don't get that box line, nudge it down. Now, to get rid of these funny corners and to seal them up, it's a... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to leak, so I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to take my Smart Fill tool, and I'm going to fill it in. And the only one that's complete is this one. So all these need to be kind of repaired. We'll get rid of our rectangle for just a second. We'll zoom in here. We'll grab the Shape tool. We'll grab all the nodes, select all the nodes. I could maybe do the whole sheet at one time. But go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves and hit apply. Let me try, I don't think. I'm holding down the shift key. Nope. So I'm gonna just do these three and that still might not work. I'm gonna grab all the nodes and hit apply. For some reason that filled in with yellow. Let's try it one at a time. Let's back up here. Grab the shape, flick off of it, grab the shape tool, grab that item, grab all the nodes and hit apply. Now this is the one that turned yellow, grab them all, hit apply. I don't know what that's about, he must have a, and also his colors are gone. I'm going to go to windows, palettes, palettes, and turn on RGB. And then I can get rid of that color by left-clicking, no fill. Now I need to grab them all, open that Docker back up, Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, and hit Apply. So I think I'd already done it through that one. Now that one's already done, so we're good. We're going to grab this, and you can kind of see where it's all broken up. So what we need to do is take the Pick tool and select it all. And then grab the shape tool, go through here, and hit apply. Now, if we bring in our rectangle, and the only reason I bring in the rectangle in case it leaks, and there we have it. Now, we want to get, we want that in exterior line. We don't want the interior line. So I'm not going to move it. I'm going to nudge it out of the way. Now, you can see that the interior lines are good and clean. So what we need to do now is get a different color on the Smart Fill tool. You could use the same color. I'm going to get to RGB. And I'll do red. And I'm going to fill that in and nudge it down twice. Now we have these complete blocks. I am going to Left click no fill, right click outline, and make sure it's a hairline. Now I can take these two living hinges and nudge them right where they need to go. So now, one, he shouldn't have the lines if they were there, and two, those funny interior lines are gone. Anyway, and the good thing about it, all these pieces are now are solid. 
all the nodes are connected. You need to group this together so you won't move your living hinge. And then when you're ready to put in your laser uh, to save space, you know, just put them up in there, get them as close as you can. So save wood and just, you know, look at it. Like I've got these two too close, move them over, move it. It'd be better to probably put this one here and maybe even rotate this one 90 degrees because it's not going to matter and put that one there and you've cut this out a lot less space. Anyway, I hope that helped him. Thank you for watching.